your first alert weather with meteorologist Eric Burke. All right, my friend, 617. Wow, check out that sunrise. Radiant. That popped really quickly. The darkness staying longer in the morning, so it's taking a little bit longer for the light to come out. But. Yeah, but it's out there now, and hey, it's Friday. You're up, you're with yeah. us, and we've got a beautiful weekend to look forward to. And today, not too bad. If you don't mind some cloud cover, it's going to look very gloomy. It's going to look like rain for most of the day. If you're lucky, you might see a light shower. That's it. You look at the big picture. This is what we have going on. We've got two centers of low pressure off out in there in the Gulf. One's been parked off the coast of Texas here and Galveston, Houston, uh, all the way down to Mexico. Basically, and it's just been dumping rainfall on there. Parts of Louisiana into Mississippi and another low there tracking to the north. But this is the rainfall that we're hoping makes it into the Tennessee Valley and then the cold front itself is actually well up there into the Midwest, pushing through parts of Missouri and central Illinois at the moment. We've got nothing to show you as far as rainfall yesterday morning actually had some drizzle or at least some sprinkles, but nothing really showing up right now. Uh, potentially a shower right there over the state line and on the county line between Franklin and Colbert County. I mentioned very little rainfall potential. Just lower your expectations through the day today. I know at least earlier this week it looked like we would get good beneficial rain. Well, that's that's just not going to happen. Not in the cards. Heavier rainfall right now along I-20 there from Jackson to Meridian is slowly tracking to the north and northeast as we go through the morning into the afternoon. The problem is Although there's more humidity out there than what we saw yesterday, it's still very, very dry. It's not like the summer months where, well, it's, we're still summer, but it's not like the summer where we have dew points in the low to mid 70s. No, our dew point dry in the mid 60s, and we've got isolated rain potential as we go through late morning into the afternoon. By the time high school football games kick off, I think we might see maybe some drizzle here and there, but that's really it. It's actually going to be a very nice night for our 48 Blitz team to be out there as well as you cheering on your local team. Upper 70s to low 80s. The increase in cloud cover will really limit our warming today. Here's your football forecast. Maybe a stray shower. All in all, pleasant evening with mostly cloudy skies, not terribly humid. For a student heading off to the bus stop, temperatures around 70 degrees and we'll be in the lower 80s later on heading home from school. You get a plus because it is Friday and actually going to be a nice day. 82 tomorrow, 83 on Sunday. Tomorrow will be a gusty day. Some gusts 20 to 25 miles per hour with the low relative humidity that will elevate our fire danger. 52. In fact, some of you towards Sand Mountain might even dip into the upper 40s by the time you wake up on Sunday morning. That is the coldest morning we've seen in a long time. There's your cloud cover and maybe a stray shower or two developing through the late morning into your afternoon hours. The front itself could potentially bring us some drizzle into early tomorrow. Weekend looks great though for anything you have planned. Temperatures in the mid 80s and no rain next week as well.